The field in Mesa, no stranger to uh, some pretty impressive aircraft. It was fitting, though, that they would play host to a plane with a very special mission. ABC 15 Mornings anchor Dan Spindle introduces us to the pilots of Samaritan Aviation. Mark Palm is so passionate about helping people that he decided to get out of his comfort zone permanently. He moved to the other side of the world, Papua New Guinea, or PNG to be exact, and that's how Samaritan Aviation was born. You know, learning the culture, learning the language, all those things, and then trying to wrap my head around this place that is so remote. Remote and yet massive, the second largest island on the planet with millions of people in need of medical care. That's why Mesa resident Brian Yeager decided he should get involved. This hospital that is there for 500,000 people covers 33,000 square miles, most of it's rainforest. Yeah. Yeah. Land, to get the patient, who, who's all involved here? Perfect scenario is you have a pilot and then you have, oftentimes you'll have a co-pilot, but then you have a flight nurse. Samaritan added a second plane. This newly refurbished float plane is now making its way across the country in hopes of spreading the word that there are people far away who will soon receive some generous and much needed help that to them, feels like a miracle. You know, to be able to go in there without any expectations and just say we're here to serve. I mean, that, that to me is a picture of, of God's love for us and uh, that's why we do this. From the Rocky Mountains to right here in the valley to the far reaches of the South Pacific, Samaritan Aviation feels as though they have reached the heights far beyond what they ever dreamed, but they've got a long way to go and a lot of people still to help. From Falcon Field, Dan Spindle, ABC 15 News.